you guys already knew, depending on which country you're living, there's always something from the TV series that shaped the culture in your place. For example, Star Wars, I mean, how big Star Wars has shaped cultures in the US. And same goes with Japan. Japan have their own thing, and most of them are from manga or TV show as well, and also from anime series. And for today's video, it's gonna be about a TV show that has vastly shaped culture in Japan, and that is the Kamen Rider. <laughs> Here it is. This is the actual G-Shock watch over here. Look at that. This is my friend. If you are into vintage or if you are a hardcore collector, you'll know right away. This is a grail piece. Man, finally I'm able to grab one of these in my possession. I have been wanting to own or get at least have it on hand, you know, for over five years, probably since I got into G-Shock. This watch over here was released in 2009 and only in Japan at about only 1000 units limited to celebrate the creator of the manga series for this Kamen Rider uh, show called Shotaro Ishinomori and that person already passed away but his creations still live up to this day you guys should know that this is not a G-Shock that you are gonna get uh, like newer list model, you know, where focusly or mainly focusing on functions and technology, such as this guy over here. If you are into this or you want something that is very heavy content, something that is brand new, you can skip this video because this is none of that. Today's video is just for fun. You get this G Shock for fun to remind you of your childhood memories. And same reason as well when I grab this, it totally reminds me of my childhood memories, man. This is one of my heroes when I was a kid, man. And I'm pretty sure this one had been yours, your hero as well when you were a kid or even today, I don't know. Okay, done with a quick trip on the memory lane. Let's have a look on the profile for this G-Shock, very amazing piece. Uh, we're gonna have a look at gold screws and buttons as well, look at that very beautiful made look at that most vintage or high-end or very limited G-Shock usually come with this gold side piece over here that's just to indicate how limited this thing is and again you guys could check the retail price for this pretty cheap but the resale price for this man that is amazing and that's why it took me a while to hunt this thing down and finally I grabbed this even though I didn't get the paper box look at that this is a standard Japanese set box the thing that I got is only the manual and yeah, I almost forgot to show you guys. I also got this one right here. Here it is. This is it. This is the one a must have. You can skip the box, you can skip the manual book, but do not skip these two metal pins over here. This is silver 925, pure silver. Look at that. It features a logo that is resembling this G-Shock or this release as well. This is, let me show you guys, let me pull this thing out first, actually uh, from uh, Tachibana Racing Club. That is a club or an uh, organization at least who created this, the motorcycle that this Kamen Rider right in the show. And this is the uh, kind of like the emblem or the logo from the organization. Let's zoom a little bit. It's very rare to be seeing this on YouTube even because not a lot of people are sharing this and I hope you find this helpful as well. Look at that. It features a R, look at that, an R letter, capital R, and a motorcycle logo uh, from the front facing. Look at that. My god, look at how gorgeous this thing is. And it's a pin like that. Look at that. And they have some code down there. I hope, you, I, hope I could show you or get this thing to focus that have SV925. So, yeah, silver 925, pure silver over here. This thing is incredible. All right. Let's put this away first. Let's have a look at the second pin. All right, let's zoom back in. This thing is called the transformation uh, belt. This belt was used in the series for the character to transform 
from a regular human being into uh, this superhero called the Kamen Rider or the Mask Rider. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit. So it features a belt with uh, this thing. Can I twist this? No, no I can't. Look at it, very gorgeously made. Still, uh, I believe stainless silver 925 as well. Look at that engraving. Or stamp at the back desk. SV925. I believe this thing, this emblem over here is way more famous compared to this one right here. Look at that. This is man. Every kid needs to have one of these in their possession if they are a fan of Mask Rider. This is the transformation belt powered by the wind. So this, uh, that's why they have the fan over there. So yeah, <laughs> just a kid's thing. But anyway, let's go back to the watch. I'm gonna add this thing on the watch band after this. But for now, uh, I'll already go to the sides. So let's have a look on the right things or the colorway. It features a combination of dark green or leaf green with black, with also representing the character or the hero, the common rider at least, uh, which also, uh, what do you call this, which mimicking a grasshopper, so that's why it features green in here, and not other colorway, and green up here as well. We have dark green rain all around here, and red colorway for the common rider in Japanese, uh, kanji and katakana over there, that's called common over here, common rider which stands for Mask Rider. So this will be the animation over here, up here in green, green, red, and this is just default positive display dead in time. It features a standard 1289 module. And, the, and of course, we're gonna have a look at black button with green, very beautiful color combination. And I don't think there are anything at all that looks like this that was officially released. Castle released a lot of 1600 series collaboration G-Shock out there, but none of them have this color pattern of color combinations in them so you are able to have a look at this and know right away if someone is wearing a common Rider G-Shock or not just from the watch face alone that is a big point over there and again I want to highlight one more thing about how big this thing is has impact the culture in Japan and if you look, you can google this thing up actually as well there's a Japan astronomer called Akimasa Nakamura which was highly influenced by this series that he actually literally named an asteroid which is out, I believe around planet Mars something around there called 12408 Fujioka which named after the actor that plays this, this guy over here that plays this character and the second asteroid literally called 12796 Kamen Rider I want you guys to pause a little bit and just realize there is an asteroid, a real asteroid out there in outer space that is called Kamen Rider. That is insane. Just think about it. That is how big this thing has affected culture in Japan. And since this guy only affected culture in Japan, I don't think you guys will be care so much. And I believe that is also why Casio only released this model in Japan and not outside of Japan because of that history because of that background as well and let's have a look on the watch band as you guys can see now it features a silhouette of the common rider looking from the back just simple printing there's nothing fancy on here nothing big nothing that's very complicated at all just standard printing in silver most vintage g-shock watch come with this type of printing but still looking great the one I'm holding now is, I believe, new condition, brand new, but had been uh, displayed by the store. So I believe some people, several people, have already tested on wrist, and that's why you're gonna see just slightly used marks. But so far, everything, everything's still looking great. The printing is still looking great. It's still glossy. It's still reflecting lights. Look at that. Look at how gorgeous this thing is. And at the end or at the tip here is the Tachibana Racing Club logo again in red colorway. So you make sure you have all this in pristine condition, especially if you're gonna be able to pay super high price for it. You can check this on eBay or Yahoo Japan auction and just I don't want to tell you the price is just check it by yourself and see how much this thing costs because of how limited the thing is and how big 
the impact this guy had given into culture in Japan or even worldwide. I mean, in some country though. Anyway, cyclone over here in red colorway, and it's, this is the cyclone. The cyclone is the name for the motorcycle. This guy right here from the front, and this is the usual image of it. Look at that. There are actually two type of cyclone. This is the first version for the first common rider. This is indeed the first common rider. Although they have two common rider that looks exactly the same, common rider one and common rider two. This will be for the first one, I believe. Look at that, just slightly image of it. You can Google the full image of the motorcycle. It's a very iconic thing. And I'm still loving this piece up to this day. And I'm still also loving the TV series. I mean, it's very, very iconic. It still reminds me of my childhood. I wish they used a gold buckle instead, but it's all fine. Stainless steel. But they still have Castle Japan sign below it, so nothing much to complain up there. Look at that. Look at that. The engraving or the code actually goes over here. I'm so not mistaken, normal g shop have a code over here. Let's have a look over there. Look at that. It goes up here instead of at the tip here. Very unique as well. Just make sure you have the similar uh, placement for the code to make sure you're getting the real version because I know a lot of people out there are capable of customizing this uh, colorway. It looks very simple, but make sure you get the real piece instead. You know? because, especially if you're going to pay a high price for this. Look at that. 1289 model, DW69 FS stainless steel back Japan Y and a copyright logo over there, IT and the features this again. Uh, touch button on racing club. Uh, let me put this thing on wrist and then I'll remove it back and put this pin on and we'll get back to another wrist shot. Let me show you guys how it's supposed to look like. Oh, I really need to be careful when wearing this. And now it is a used G Shock. Oh, it looks brand new though. Look at that. I mean, the fitting is just simple. And this watch over here, you got this just for fun. If you're not into this uh, Kamen Rider thing, you can skip this video and I don't suggest you to get this watch at all. Just leave it there, leave it for the fans to grab this thing on their own to add it to the collection. I mean, you don't have to be a fan of Kamen Rider at all. You can just be a fan of G-Shock or uh, Japanese manga or Japanese culture in general. And you might want this thing in your possession as well, just for fun, just for fun. This, that's all that is about this release though, especially today when we are receiving uh, way more advanced technology in our G-Shock. This thing of course can't be compared to that, but just know you can just wear this for fun. Let me, since I'm gonna be wearing at hose number 3 up here, I think I'm gonna add this pin. Since we have this logo over here, I'm just gonna add it the most top part, just push it in, it's very hard to push it in. And this red thing over here, I'm gonna place it somewhere in the middle. One, two, three, four, five parts over here. Since there are not a lot of design over here, I'm gonna use it right here. There it is. And look at that. That's how this thing holds. It holds very tight. It's gonna be pretty hard for me to remove this accessory as well. But let's have a look on how huge the impact of this pin alone you know if you're thinking this pin is too small it's not gonna, it's not a big deal not to have it or not but just so you know this thing is a big deal look at that my man looks simple up here but when you twist the wrist this tell the whole story it's change the game especially when you are you're a collector you know if you want to impress a Casio G-Shock real collector or enthusiast this is the watch that you want to have up have on wrist if you're just regular people and are just a fan of Kamen uh, Rider you can still grab this thing but I didn't recommend you to get this because you know just save it for the real fans that's that's all look at that look at that I mean the function is still simple though uh, dated and time of home time we have alarm timer stopwatch and uh, simple things But man, only the appearance that stands out the most. Look at that. Look at that thing over there. And finally able to grab this. Uh, with, with, oh, there. There's, there is an issue over there. Man, you don't want to scratch any of this rare piece. But anyway, guys, I hope that sums up all the things that I have to share on this Kamen Rider as G-Shock watch. 
I hope you guys found this video useful, informative, and entertaining as well for your future reference. Leave a like if it does help you with your next purchase. If you find one of this, this is how it's supposed to look like. And that's it guys. Thank you very very much for watching. This is G-Shock channel and um